when we were called to do this work, one of the things that um, you know, the Lord said to us is that we would be restorer of streets for people to dwell in. And our tagline is out of Isaiah 58, 12, which says, tells us that we're building up the, the foundations of many generations. We're a faith-based organization. We are um, a charitable organization. And our whole purpose is around seeing community transformation or helping to have community transformation. We believe in empowering the citizens to be able to help transform their own communities. But we know that people need support and help to do so. Back in 2005, um, USAID funded a project through Ministry of Health where we went to look at how to introduce effective violence prevention programs. And an idea which we believe the Lord had given us um, for three centers of excellence, one of which was a family resource, well, uh, really was a child health clinic to start with, became a family resource um, and wellness center once we saw, um, once we got introduced to the methods that were being employed in, in, the, in South Africa where we visited. Um, so what this is really about right now is just um, the start of trying to fence the property. It is a $160 million project. In it, we're going to have a child health clinic. We're going to have adolescent friendly um, sexual reproductive services um, and also a resource center. So community can come and they can get any answer that they want about government programs that can be linked into any government program, as well as education, for example, UTEC, um, UE. Any answer, we'll be able to find it electronically for them. Now that we have internet and computers, and we'll also have the form. We'll be able to link them up to the RGD. We'll be able to link them up to uh, getting their NIS. We'll be able to link them up with all the government agencies. But last year, when COVID interrupted, we were just reaching out to government agencies to help us fund it. It was derailed in 2010 with the incursion into Tivoli. Uh, we did have GC trying to find funds to help us to, uh, to, to bring in a multi-agency approach. But you know, since then, uh, last year, having done the business plan, we reached out to the Minister of Health and uh, he did, we didn't get a chance to present to him the details because COVID came up. It was a big, uh, you know, not even quite a distraction. It was a, a, an emergency that needed his full attention. And so, um, but we have spoken to him and we're in line with his policy where he says he wants to see clinics uh, as close to community as possible. So we believe we'll have his support. Um, you know that the leader of the opposition is the MP here. Um, and he has actually, he's fully off favor with what we're doing here as well. And I believe it's the kind of thing that the Prime Minister himself would want to support. Because again, he has recently, this year, in the National Day of Prayer, he actually said he wants to see the church more involved. And this is a faith-based, this is a faith-based operation that will actually reach out to people uh, with the whole idea of Christian values and attitudes. And it's supposed to be a heart-changing experience for the youth. And one of those things that would have an intervention, a meaningful intervention. Um, ministry, we believe that the Minister of National Security is also supportive of the faith-based initiatives, um, Dr. Harish Chang. And I believe that it would also uh, complement what he plans for in Denham Town, which is just over there uh, with the police, the new police center that is going to provide a lot of community services as well. So I see the thing working together and I believe that also the multi, we, shan, we will get the support of the government agencies or bodies because, uh, again, the thinking is that communities like this need safe spaces and green spaces where they can, the, the, the residents can um, you know, have a good positive experience. And so we're expecting that we'll get that. And I believe also that the private sector foundation, already we, our work is mainly supported by a private sector foundation. And, um, and I believe that other private sector foundations would come on board to help us to both 
provide the building as well as the services that we intend to provide to this community. So we really are happy that when we reached out, because the, the, the police and the Jamaica Defence Force very much want to be a part of community development, want to support community, um, and all the, the social interventions that are uh, being planned and are being enacted, um, that they would come on board to help us with this project, especially just initial phase, and then we're hoping that they will be able to stay with us. So we want to really thank both the JDF and the JCF. The Community Liaison Team is an effort that the First Battalion of the Jamaica Regiment encourages, whereby we go out into the communities to find youth engagement projects or social intervention projects that we can assist with within the ESCOM space, which is predominantly St. Thomas, Kingston, and St. Andrew. So when Major Cook approached us with this project here, we were elated to be a part of it, and our role here is really to provide some assistance in clearing the land and making the preparations for the future development. From the very beginning, when we were called to do this work, one of the things that, um, you know, the Lord said to us is that we would be restorer of streets for people to dwell in. And our tagline is out of Isaiah 58, 12, which says, tells us that we're building up the, the foundations of many generations. And you know that there are this, the age old generations have been here, right? And we have seen community uh, deteriorate, but we're going to help to restore good community here.